Oh, meeting Catherine. <laughs> that was uh, that's probably one of the best things that ever happened to me, and I didn't realize it at the time. I'll never forget that day. Because of her tattoos, I have more of a connection with her because if I ever wonder who the person Catherine is, you know, not only do I get to, I can just look at her, you know, I can see her personality. I can I can see the the, the beautiful person that is Catherine, and um, her tattoos are just they're 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 like an expression of a personality that even she doesn't. I don't I don't even think maybe sometimes she realizes she's got that on her, you know, because it's it's normal to her. She sees it every day, but. Well, it was, it didn't start out as an interest. It started out as a repulsion. <laughs> I, I didn't like the idea of permanency. Um, there's so, I mean, life is by nature transient and I didn't really know why anyone on this earth would want to get something so permanent on their bodies. The roaring 20s started to happen and I was doodling in my notebook in a journalism class in college and I just loved the image so much that I went to the best tattoo shop and as I found out more and more about the art, I realized that it is an amazing art. It totally stands on its own legs. And not only that, but there's a lot of science and biology involved with it too. I guess the other thing that really interest me interested me was the psychology behind it um, not one person would come into the tattoo shop and not have a story to tell um, they opened up to their artist like you would a therapist they had some kind of deep-seated emotion that they just had to get out I wish more people could get some sort of guideline on a sheet of paper about this is how to pick an artist because it's really sad to see people with great ideas come out with horrible tattoos. Oh well there's all the cliches that uh, all people with tattoos have bad attitudes or drug problems or are unclean or jobless or unsavory characters. I know surgeons and doctors and lawyers and teachers, um, social workers that have huge pieces on their backs and their legs and it's all about the ability to cover them up and, and maintain and keep up appearances. That one, <laughs> that is an interesting story too. My, my primary artist I hadn't seen him in a couple of years and I visited him one day, walked into his booth and saw this charcoal pencil drawing of this tattoo. And it was identical to an image that I had in some extremely vivid dream. Well, sometimes you can tell by body language, the looks on people's faces. Some people just tell you what's on their minds. but. Uh, most of the time it's a really positive reaction and I know this because people come up and tell me oh my gosh your artwork is so beautiful that's actually how I met my husband <laughs> um, they tell me you know oh I got my tattoo and this is why I got it and where I got it and look 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 and I don't know it's overall positive occasionally I will go somewhere and someone will look at me like I'm a troll or something <laughs> But that's very rare. I don't, I don't get that a lot. What happens a lot is because I have this artwork, I meet people out in the street or at the store or wherever that probably otherwise wouldn't just come up and talk to me. But I've made really good friends, lifelong friends, um, that way. I was in a low spot in my life and more than anything, I was grasping at straws, and just like anyone you talk to that's been at a low point, they usually grasp at the God straw. And as I grasped at that straw, I met my husband Anthony, and he just happened to have this background in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 
And over the year that we talked about it, I found out about the church history and and what it meant to be a Latter-day Saint. Um, I found out that tattooing was not exactly acceptable. <laughs> it was encouraged not to get pierced or tattooed because, uh, you know, if there is a God and we are made in His image and we are His children, just like any parent, why would a parent want their child to do something to their body that, you know, let's be real, could cause them harm. You know, there is a possibility for contamination um, and, and not using sterilized instruments. But, you know, I, I'd kind of gone through my phase. I feel like uh, I was fortunate enough to live on both sides of the coin. I, I led an unsavory life here and there, and I have the tattoos to prove it. That's how I dealt with it. Um, so now, I love tattooing. I would still probably tattoo someone. I would tattoo myself. Um, but I also recognize that if I were to do those things, it wouldn't be coming from the same spot. I have much more respect for myself and my body now. I don't just see it as this vessel that I can do anything I want to. My own personal experience, I got most of mine because I had a lot of, I had a lot of pain that it's not in my nature to express any other way. Uh, combined with my love of art, it just worked for me. It fit. So, yeah, I, I got my tattoos because they turned an ugly thing into something beautiful.